How can we use emojis into formulas in Excel? And whenever we change here any values, so let's say I'm going to change these values right here, all the functions, all the emojis is going to automatically update for us. So this is what we're going to see in today's video. And you can use any type of emojis that you want. You just need to know where you're going to use it. Okay, so let's start here, understand what I have, and then we go straight into the formula itself. Then we're going to use here just a simple if function in Excel. Here basically I have my student's name, the four different tests that my students did, and then here I have the final grade. Instead of using uh, the if function with a regular X standard, let's say the way, I want you to do something different. I want you to use an emoji whenever I got, let's say, a student got a grade that is greater than or equal to 7, I want you to have this emoji right here. And whenever a student got between 5 and 7, I want you to have this emoji right here. And then this sad emotion right here, whenever my student got, let's say, less than or equal to 5 in his final grade. So let me delete everyone right here. Okay, and let's do it from scratch. I'm going to start here using the equal sign and then if formula. I'm going to double click it. And here for the if function, I need to use three different criteria, three different conditions. The first one is if the student got, let's say, greater than or equal to 7 in his final grade. And my second criteria is if the student got in between 5 or 7 and 7, okay, and 7. And my last criteria, my third one is if my student got less than or equal to 5. So let's start here with the first one. If this final grade right here is greater than or equal to 7, let's say the way, comma, I want you to type it in here, a smile emoji. I can either take this emoji on Google and then I can copy and paste here, or I can actually use a short key in my keyboard. If you're using a Windows laptop, you can press the Windows button with the period. Okay, so Windows period. And then we're going to have all these emojis here. And I can select, let's say, the first one. It's going to be this smile face right here. And I can actually select all the emotions that I'm going to use uh, at once. So let's say the smile one the OK one and the sad one, let's say. OK, now I can click in any blank cell here. And as you guys can see here in my if function, I already add all the emojis that I'm going to use here. So if my student got a final grade that is greater than or equal to 7, so he got a smile emoji. So we're going to, in between quotations mark, I'm going to put it in this emoji, like this, for example. Comma. Now, if, double click here again, if, the final grade, I can select the final grade, just clicking in a blank cell, and with my keyboard keys, I select, you know, the G3 cell. So, if my final grade now is greater than 5, let's say the way, comma, I'm going to use this emotion right here. So, in between quotations, I just put it in this emotion. So, comma again. And now, let's say, if all these two conditions are not met, so the only conditions that are left is the sad face here, you know, so... In between quotations marks, I can put it in this emoji, close parentheses two times, and then press enter. And we're done. I think it's pretty much easy to do. Basically, we just need to use any function, any formula in Excel, and instead of using values itself or text, for example, we can use emojis. And whenever you change your final grade or your result, your criteria, you're going to see that your if function is going to automatically update for you. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.